We're here for another episode where coffee time with Brenda and friends. And we have Mary today. Yeah, Mary every day almost. <laughs> Actually, I got a lot of feedback and they love Mary. Oh. Yeah. You're on the ball. You ask. And these are not rehearsed. No, and, not at and all. And we don't edit. We just throw it out No, there. actually, I was late today. I just kind of flew in. I was late. I left my house a disaster <laughs> today. Um, so we're just jumping on because we're talking to friends. We know we're talking to friends. And so that's what makes it so easy for us. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, why were you late? Yeah. You know what? It's just a busy time of year. And sometimes, you know, you have those mornings and nothing is easy. Um, and so I just wanted to get, put my house in a certain place so that when I come home, I can jump into making dinner. Like, you know, you're always thinking ahead. Yeah. Anyways, uh, the house is a mess. I left oh, the house a mess. Wow. So, But it's kind of interesting because today we're talking about house clearing. <laughs> so it's kind of funny the way I left my house this morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't clean that type of way. Oh, just so you okay. know, I'm not going to clean your house that way. Oh, right. <laughs> but the house clearing is a really neat, <laughs> yeah, it's a really neat concept. Um, I've been doing it for a really long time. It's funny because I've known you for like about a a year I would say and I've never really heard you talk about house clear clearing before and so um yeah I want to learn about that All right. and understand so that. I I never really market it per se because a it was very time like it's, it, it takes a lot of time mm -hmm. and I've been busy with other things but the reason I've kind of made it more available now is I am noticing people are struggling with the energy of their homes mm -hmm. and through like since 2020 i've had some downloads and i have actually been kind of instructed on how to clear homes in a very different way and i use it on my house so that went through a lot and i could feel the difference that i have never felt before and then i started offering it to people mainly clients only at the time because they were struggling and they felt the huge difference in their home. So we're talking about clearing the home energetically. So when I think about somebody clearing a home, like people do it in different ways. Like there's um, people walk around with sage, um, people declutter every year, like in January, mm -hmm. they just, you know, make their houses more simple. Uh, feng shui, you know, um, yeah, lots incense, of people do that. Sage, so many right. things. There's so many things, right? And I think that's all really good stuff to do. Mm -hmm. And I was going even beyond that in my earlier days to, to kind of clear my home. And it wasn't getting to the core of some issues I could feel. And then after I learned this new way, we're going to the molecular level. And, and it, it, I can get really deep, and I'm not going to because it can be complicated. But if you're really interested on that deep knowledge, I yeah. would be happy to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you. So that's when she talks about physics and things, and that's usually when I check out. <laughs> yeah, she just wants to hear the I just want to know stuff. How, yeah, the yeah, fluffy stuff. stuff. Like, tell me how it works. Does it work? <laughs> how do you know it works? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So when we, let's say we purchased a, a older home. Mm -hmm. um, so we had people living in it before. There are some people who are already sensitive. So they'll walk into the home and like the energy of the home, but there might be some areas of the home they don't like. They might get some feelings of that they're not liking. There might be arguments in the home. Mm. Um, usually there's tail signs like, hey, me and my husband are great outside the home. We come into the home and we argue. I don't understand it. Or whenever the family gets together in this one particular room, like we never get along. Or I get another one. And when we go to the basement, there's this creepiness in the basement. We don't want to renovate it. Yeah. We just want to run out of it. I can almost relate to all of those examples, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, with COVID. Yeah. What I've noticed is a lot of people brought in extra darkness um, with COVID and a lot of kids were depressed. So another thing that was happening is a lot of kids are sitting in their room. Parents don't know this because we're in our own bubbles doing our own thing. But kids could be very depressed, crying in their room, you know, and that energy sticks in the room. And it's not just the, the energy that we're clearing that is recent. Mm -hmm. It goes beyond that, it goes to the previous owner, it goes to the land. We go to every nail, every aspect of the home and clear it at an energetic level. So the memories held get wiped away if they're negative. If they're good memories, we keep them. But anything that's not serving the family, not serving the home, is cleansed away and what happens is the home 
is lighter at such a level that it's, it's hard to describe at a high level, mm. all right? So it's not the feng shui, it's not the saging, it's not that. That's all nice to have. This is going to the molecular level, and then we clear the land. Wow. Yeah. And it, and that's and, something like that's and what do I have to do like if I if you're gonna do my house what what do I have to do to prepare for that um, after you leave what do I have to do anything well so I'm not coming to your home just so you know I, I stopped doing that okay um, I used to make house calls and do house clearing all day mm -hmm. you know and do the same this and that and what I was taught is you can just do this by doing it in your home because we're working with the energy field of the home. So I actually connect to your home and we'll work on it. But my suggestion is that the family, including all pets, should leave. Mm -hmm. It is not 100% that they have to go, all right? I've had people that cannot leave, so we put them in bubbles of protection. But the problem is people who are sensitive to energy can develop headaches, nausea, dizziness during it. So we don't want to leave your pets in there. You don't want to leave people who are sensitive. So I usually ask, give me two hours where you leave the home mm -hmm. so we can kind of like deconstruct the home and reconstruct the home and when you come back I can say welcome to your new home well wow. and you do that from a distance and I have to leave for a couple hours that's easy for me to yeah. do for now sure. people will ask um, well like, are you physically in the house do you see our bedrooms um, I've been to houses that I've known before uh, so I know it, but I don't need to because when I start working energetically, I don't see the home in a, in, in a physical 3D sense. Mm -hmm. I'm one with the energy of the home. So it's like I'm, it's hard to explain, but I'm actually one with the energy and I'm moving through the different layers of the home into the land and we're going through like the sub walls and the attic and every nail and wow. all the furniture. And even we actually go to the level of, clothes like appliances because that's all energy wow so that makes me think of some shows i've seen on tv like recently there's been a lot of stuff on tv about paranormal stuff and people walking through your house like through houses on tv and and seeing different things so you're saying you're going to come into the house and clear any of that negative or darkness or anything that's in there yeah so that's a natural thing that will happen actually usually if I if I'm just kind of going through the process the first thing we do is clear away that uh, let's say if there's paranormal activity or energies or entities in the home that's the first thing that we kind of deal with and remove from the premises mm -hmm. once that is all clear are you looking at me like what? I know. I'm looking at her. I don't know if you can see this on there, but I'm really, <laughs> I'm giving her the eyes. <laughs> Once that's all clear, then we go right down to the molecular structure that holds the memory. So, you know, if someone says, if the walls could talk. Yeah. Yeah, because walls hold memories. Yeah. So if something bad happened into a room, and you walk into that room, you can feel that, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to go and dissolve it, release it, heal it, transmute it. So now that wall remembers only good stuff. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's not time to go, but uh, <laughs> so you just got a call. I apologize. So yeah, so all that stuff gets released. So the minute I come back into my house and have my argument with somebody in the house, does that then start to attract? Oh yeah, see, this that is that stuff again. You know, this is interesting because somebody will say, "Oh my God, we just had a fight after you cleansed my house. Is it ruined?" Yeah. No, no, no. That's yeah. superficial stuff. Okay. The cleansing I do, you only have to do it once. You don't have to. It's hard to explain because I'm not using the terminology I would um, like to someone who's really knowing of the stuff. But we're going to this level of like history. Like we're going to the 1800s of the land. We're clearing that land. Wow. We're clearing the, the basis of that material that came to your house. So maybe, you know, the lumber was um, got from a very bad place. So we're going to that molecular structure of the lumber. Like it's, it's different. This is not your regular clearing. So it does not get affected by hmm. those negative things. That's normal stuff. Then yeah. do your saging, do your incest, say your prayers. That's the stuff that gets that superficial out. Right? Okay. We're talking that deep knowing there's something wrong with this house. And I want it to feel light and airy. Well, and too, if somebody's getting energy work done and then they go home to a place that's still 
bugging them are they, you know maybe they're not healing as quickly as they could Is yeah because right? they can get bothered okay. exactly so that's the, and that's why i was giving it uh more of an option to clients because they are working on themselves now they're going to their home and they're more sensitive to the dark energy the heavy energy like okay something's not right yeah. so then i would offer them a house clearing okay the reason i have gone more public with it is because a lot of people are saying you know my kid's very depressed mm -hmm. uh, my kid's very sad and i'm going to keep talking because this is really interesting i know this is a bit longer yeah. but a lot of homes i go into and i'm working through the bedrooms let's say or a rec room i can sense the child energy sitting there crying in the same spot and that spot that they usually choose to mm -hmm. allow those feelings out is so dark and so when they go there and they sit in that place that area that mat that table whatever it is has memories and they'll even feel worse wow. because that stuff they left behind is there so you know we clear all that so when the kid goes back in the room there's this like not a memory of them so they have a better chance to heal and feel lighter actually i'm kind of worried about you after we film this and get it out there i'm kind of feeling like you're going to be doing only house clearings because to me to get that kind of a benefit from only doing something once yeah it's, only it's once. kind of really easy and so mm -hmm. sign me up all before right. you get All too right. busy yeah because I, uh, I think that would be really interesting because we live in an interesting part of um of ontario and i'm wondering what all is under there oh um, yeah so i've done some houses mm -hmm. and really interesting um they've had some creepy stuff in the basement right so when i went into their basement and there was one i did physically and one i did uh just remotely and they're similar but different um, Native Indian, there was a, a Native Indian family in their basement that had a traumatic death that um, didn't want to leave. They didn't realize they were passed on. So there's kind of like lost souls. So I then had to kind of step aside and do other work to work with these lost souls to bring them to the world of light. And um, that is different work, but it's included in the clearing. But then they, they left willingly into the light and that family now loves their basement they renovate and they're using the space okay so officially i'm sitting with like somebody that does miracles then because no, that to me as a person mm -hmm. that doesn't do this work that is new to all this kind of stuff and i'm hearing this kind of a story and i've watched some of those shows on tv and all the lengths people go to to clear their house after something is found there like a haunted house mm -hmm. um you can do that in like a couple of hours and do it to that level. Like, how is that not a miracle? It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful gift I have. And, um, I, I, and that's why I offer it. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I know some people say it's very expensive, but it is very taxing on me. I understand what I need to do. I'm, it's really these beings of light that come through me that do the work and we guide each other through it. Um, I have no fear. So sometimes we meet some interesting situations, mm -hmm. but um, with the love of God, anything's possible. But if you suspected, let's say, I'm talking about the average home clearing, and, and sometimes we are surprised by Native Indians that may have, uh, or, or someone passed away in the house that their energy's still there, things like that. But if you are concerned of paranormal activity mm -hmm. in your home, some of these cases are more severe. Yeah. and um those ones would need a call to me first off don't just go ahead and book because if i you know i get the address i start to do some preliminary work and if it's a lot bigger because there's you know sometimes it's bigger it may not be a two-hour clearing it may be more i may need my partner to join in and help me out so those can cost a bit more but usually just a one time done and one and done right yeah. but um you were talking about the average home that hey something's not right in the house right yeah. and, and that's actually very common um sometimes when people say something's going on in the house they have no idea what it is the first thing like i do we do that cleansing of you know i'll call them shadow beings or darker energies or something and these are what the kids see yeah. young kids in their crib are talking to things or seeing usually it's something like that wow. right but again that's the first layer of clearing then we're going to that molecular then we go into the land and really when people come home you can truly say welcome to your new home but it's great if you're buying a new house great if your house is on the market and it's sale 
it's because people are sensing the energy. So if you're going through a divorce and you're trying to sell your house, mm -hmm. that energy of your arguments is in that house. And who knows how many other stuff. Clear it. Your house will be brand new and it shines on the market. So we're like elevating it into this higher frequency. Yeah. So when people walk by, like, there's something about this house I love. Mm -hmm. They don't understand it, but it's because it's been lifted into a higher frequency. I kind of feel like it's an easy way to add a little more light to the world. Like to, if you light, lighten your house and where I live, it, you know, the whole world becomes a little lighter. Is that fair to say? I think so. Yeah, yeah, because that's what's happening in humanity right now. Pockets of the earth and humanity are lighting up everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we're doing it one house at a time, one person at a time, one this at a time, one that at a time. That's but awesome. you'll just notice this whole different vibe. Yeah, yeah. Right? Wow. So sign me up. I'm I'm up for that. And uh, and I don't think you said it was expensive. I'm not sure that it is for all the benefits that you can get. Especially, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are worried about their kids, and their kids won't go see a therapist. Their kids won't go talk to somebody. They won't um, get help. Uh, go see a doctor. Uh, maybe this is something that can help them a little bit so a little bit. yeah that's a that's a great offering thank you for doing that and uh officially sitting with a mir miracle worker today <laughs> I, I believe we all are miracle workers. that's amazing we're all magnificent beings we all have our gifts right yeah. so uh you know it's nice to share it and, yeah. I, and i love the feedback i get and uh, i i never used to ask for testimonials so i now starting to ask for people who have testimonies but a lot of people are embarrassed to say this shadow being was in my house or this is what my kid was going through because it's personal yeah right yeah. so i don't push for that i'm just happy they're doing better mm -hmm. and if they can you know let me that you know give me that story it warms my heart i'm happy yeah about, yeah well maybe right? one day i can tell my story to, <laughs> to all y'all once once i get it done so thank all you right. for joining us today everybody thank send your you. questions at info at so brilliant.ca perfect have a good one everyone bye-bye bye-bye